I'm here underneath the hood of the car uh, and I'm aiming at the uh, the problem today or tonight as it as it may be uh, can you guess what the issue is well it's the uh, the blower motor wife recently complained that it would not turn on uh, after driving it around for a while um, but sometimes it would turn on so an intermittent issue and um, there's a lot of different things to actually uh, diagnose this um, you know fuses um, I think some have uh, some systems have um, um, some resistors um, that are problematic um, but I'm pretty sure it's the blower motor um, I um, I got some info from all data but uh, also um, we were able to I was able to be around when it actually happened and driving it home tonight and um, uh, I did the old hammer test and uh, it what wouldn't turn on and so I went ahead and knocked it right on the end there and it started spinning again so I'm pretty sure it's a bad blower motor I've already gotten a new one um, they're not very expensive and in fact this is not a very hard repair so what I understand is that you need to move um, the coolant reservoir uh, out a little bit and then uh, pretty much unplug it and unbolt this comes out put a new one in yada 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 um, I'm a little anxious because I'm afraid um, of rusty bolts especially for the coolant reservoir so fingers crossed we'll try this out and see how far we get uh, here we are underneath uh, actually in the passenger side wheel well I wanted to show a little bit there are some bolts here and I'm pretty sure it's uh, this one and this one that holds the coolant reservoir and uh, I'm hoping nothing happens with those maybe this one too actually back here um, they look similar and um, I'll spray those down hopefully that uh, those release pretty easy without cracking anything especially the reservoir or breaking off and uh, move this thing and then um, see how far we get well, I'm back at it again uh, after a couple of days <clears throat> I wasn't able to get this coolant tank off um, the bolts of course uh, or the nuts on the bolts attaching it are uh, are rusted and um, it looks like it's supposed to slide back and forth but I can't find any information online and when I try that it's stuck so what I need to do is actually get under there and um, cut it free I'm going to try with some um, um, some uh, nut splitters uh, and then uh, uh, try a dremel if that, as a last resort and then uh, try to replace those fasteners but um, that's just currently what's um, keeping me from fixing this you notice I marked this because if my wife needed to uh, drive the car I told her if it, the fan stopped working to uh, take along a hammer and hit it right here and um, she's had to do that uh, several times already so uh, if you've never seen a, a nut splitter before let's see if I can find it uh, it looks something like this. Um, I have two sizes, this large one and a small one somewhere I'll find. And um, they work pretty good. I got these on Amazon. Um, they're not as uh, tough as I thought, but um, I'll try this first, see if I can get in there. I think it's kind of a tight space, so I'll probably have to use the Dremel. Okay, I finally managed to get that free. And... Uh, <clears throat> I had to use the Dremel. Uh, I had to resort to the Dremel. Uh, it wasn't as easy as I thought to get the uh, nutcracker in there because of these recesses. And this is plastic. The other problem with that is that, uh, of course, when you use the Dremel, it heats up anything metal. So I had to use a water bottle. I was just worried about melting the plastic too much so that I didn't have anything left.
put it all together and then also um, ruining the expansion tank. Uh, it looks like the expansion tank has survived thus far. You can see the leftover bits of the uh, studs that are used to mount it. Um, looks like I still have a little bit of plastic there. That one didn't fare so well, but should be enough. And then this one, I actually managed to slide the uh, expansion tank off, and that's the remnants. So I'm going to try to remove that. Come up with something better than, you know, bolts in a fender. I mean, so there's a lot of pretty well designed, you know, pretty well engineered components in this car, and this just seems like not one of them so I'll get that out of the way uh, get that cleaned up a little bit and then move on to the blower motor <sighs> boy all right I've uh, gone ahead and um, clean up the bottom of the expansion tank those bolts didn't slide out still uh, here's some of what remains of some of them I think what ends up happening is the, uh, over time, of course, over 20 years, like, they kind of weld themselves. Um, they're supposed to slide on the bottom. I actually had to take a utility knife and kind of, uh, trim away some of the, <laughs> the old plastic and, um, finally got the, to slide out. In the process, I may have nicked this and hopefully it wasn't deep enough at, uh, it'll stay intact otherwise I'll have to order a new one I may just do that anyways just for insurance uh, but then um, I have to get this bracket off and these connections I didn't really want to pull these electrical connections but there just doesn't seem to be any way uh, to make room to pull this off so here I've got the uh, old motor I got the old motor unplugged and this is the first time should be able to pull this out. Unplugged and unbolted, and there it is. There's the culprit. Oh, and you can actually see it's a little dirty down there. So I'll probably have to clean that out a little bit. But that's not good. Um, and uh, replace this. I can tell it, it doesn't move freely. Sit it on the ground. Like it should, it should spin freely. Okay, I have the two together, and it's actually surprisingly, um, the new one doesn't spin as freely as I thought maybe it would. But I can definitely tell the one on the right seems to have more tension. Um, they look pretty identical. Uh, in fact, I don't think I'll have to use a, uh, a new plug. Uh, it should just plug right into this. And, um, yeah. See if I can get it back together now. My first inclination was that maybe the bearings on this sleeve bearings were seized, but it actually spins the same, but I think I figured out what the actual issue is. If you can see down in there. I think this is the commutator. Commutator bars uh, are very worn out and you can see it's nice and shiny there. I keep spinning it. It gets black and there's the brush uh, on the side and I think it's so worn out that it gets to this point and it just doesn't uh, conduct electricity well enough. So uh, I can compare that to the the new one, it's all nice and shiny, um, so I don't think there's going to be any issues there, obviously. So, um, yeah, I think it was just, you know, 20 year old part, just had its day. Alright, the new part is in. Uh, you can barely tell it's new because um, it's kind of hidden under some old stuff here. This is just here temporarily until I figure out how I'm going to re-secure this. Um, I just wanted to share a couple of tips and tricks. Um, it comes with a couple of gaskets. Um, let's see here. Uh, this is a thicker version. I don't think I needed to use this one, but it looks nearly identical. 
Um, and, um, you know, it can be tricky with these. They do have a, a couple of pilot holes that allow you to um, uh, attach it temporarily, but um, it didn't work very well. So I actually used a light dusting of uh, spray adhesive. Um, not very much, just light dusting. Let it get just a little tacky, dry it a little bit, and then it's much easier to position. Um, the other thing is... Um, the uh, the fan actually has a hose that it's supposed to be connected and it actually attaches to the air box. I think the idea is if any debris gets in here, it can drain, but probably um, also cold air or airflow gets in here to cool the motor and uh, make it last longer, which is kind of ingenious. I don't know if that's pretty common, but... Uh, you got to remember the new one doesn't come with it, so you got to remember to take it off the old one and then, you know, make sure it's not obstructed or anything. I clean mine up, put it back on. Uh, I reattached everything, um, uh, tested it, seems to work fine. Uh, I did know that, I noticed that the um, squirrel cage, the fan, is slightly smaller on the new one. I didn't think it was that big of a deal. Um, it seems to blow just as just as strong so the next thing I got to figure out is how I'm going to reattach this and I want to do it in a way that makes it not only easy to access to but you know it doesn't you know I don't run into the same problem where uh, I can't get it off um, in the future so I'm toying with a couple of ideas and uh, I'll um, try to experiment a little bit and see what I can come up with to uh, reattach this because it, it obviously I mean maybe survive for a little bit, but uh, it should be reattached. Um, you know, I don't want this to get broken or anything, so um, I'll figure that out. 